welcome everyone to this episode of Foragecraft. So in this episode, we're going to be heading to the nether to build three farms. A ghast farm, a frog light and magma cream farm, and a hoglin farm. So, I'm going to head there. I'm going to dig up a tunnel to all three of these farms will be built above the bedrock. So I'm going to dig a tunnel up and break through the bedrock, and I'll bring you guys back when I have that done so we can get started on the first farm. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, so welcome back. So I have tunneled up to the surface and I found the biomes. So the frog light farm needs to be in the nether with the uh, basalt deltas, which is over this direction. I left the torch trail. And over here, the... Uh, Hoglin farm is over here and needs to be in the Crimson Forest. I'm not 100% sure I haven't looked too much into the ghast farm, but it needs to like just I think it just needs to have a lot of space and I think it's probably best in the nether waste, but we'll I'll figure that out when we build that. So I'm gonna start with the uh, with the Hoglin farm over here. So I'm gonna build the farm and then I'll walk you through it. I'll give you the name of the tutorial I used. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys in a second when I have the farm built. Okay, so welcome back. So I have completed the Hoglin farm here. Uh, it is very simple. The design originally is by Shulkercraft. Uh, it's, an, uh, it's a 13 by 13 area with uh, five blocks of dirt and five warped fungus with a lot with 36 torches. Uh, drop spot with lava, and you can need a AFK spot or farm, um, something nearby so it's in render distance so this will work. Me being here, they will not spawn, but they will spawn more readily if you're AFKing somewhere else. And then you need the collection system below. So basically, they spawn on this platform above the bedrock because the, these are the only spawnable blocks here. Uh, they are scared by the warped fungus and get pushed by them into this platform. They're tricked into walking on there, thinking they can walk in here, and they fall in the lava and die. Uh, this gives you leather and cooked pork chops, which is a food and leather source. Um, yeah, and most of the torches, as well as the slabs and fences, are to help against protect against gas spawning, which is going, which would be an issue. So yeah, that's basically all we have here with this. Uh, you can check out their video. If uh, you can check out Shulkercraft's video if you're interested in seeing the full tutorial. But I have the farm now, and that's pretty nice. So yeah, uh, next we're gonna work on the Shroom Light farm, which is gonna be oh, not not Shroom Light. What am I talking about? The Frog Light farm, which is gonna be over in that direction. So we're gonna do. This uh, the same thing. I'm gonna build the farm, bring you guys back, show you how it works, and then yeah, we'll yeah we'll go from there. So I'll catch you guys in a second when I have the farm built. Okay, welcome everyone to this episode. Well, welcome back. It's forced to have it now. Uh, so I have finished the frog light farm, which is basically just a pit full of frogs. You can you put it whatever frogs in there? That was annoying to get them here, but whatever. I have six of each. You can do whatever variant, depending on which ones you want. Uh, I just did a mixture just so I get them all. You want to have the, the the chains are for making sure only the small ones fall through. The iron golems lure in the large magma cubes and kill them. Uh, the glass, both simultaneously, prevents the large ones from being able to jump too high and stops gas from spawning. And this platform here is just for that. And then underneath, I found, so the tutorial I used was Shulkercraft again, uh, but I noticed that his tutorial, uh, the one he used, the, the way he did it, it was just not collecting well, so I, I replaced some of them with hoppers. I replaced some of the blocks with hop, more hoppers just so I could do that, and then I moved the levers up here, which still works for keeping the things active, which allows all this to go. Uh, but yeah, I changed that around and I'm collecting quite a bit of uh, I've collected a little bit of frog life, so I haven't had this farm active for very long uh, And then you want to build like base a uh, stack and 48 scaffolding and then you have an AFK platform or uh, a Farm or something up there and then it'll AFK for you and it'll work really fast and efficiently and yeah, so that's that farm. Now we're gonna build the ghast farm, which hopefully I can build relatively close to here, but I, I still need to look into that. 
So, uh, I'll catch you guys in a second when I have that done, and I'll explain that. So, catch you in a second. Okay, so welcome back. So, I have completed the gas farm. It is a design by Shulkercraft. You can check out his video. It's basically the gas spawn here and in the portals, large enough for them. Uh, I, you can use, uh, as far as I can tell, you can use any sort of light block, glowstone, uh, shroom lights, or sea lanterns. I use sea lanterns because those are the most prevalent for me. You can expand these farms up as many layers as you want. Uh, you can't. I don't think you can go any wider this way, or and you definitely can't go any wider this way. So the portals have a width limit. Um, but you have your AFK platform up here, and your portal back to the overworld. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take you guys over there to show you the farm itself, which I have built, like the killing chamber, which I have been going for a little bit. Uh, Shulkercraft did mention one thing, it only works if no one else is in the overworld, or if they're in the overworld but right next to the farm in, like, in chunk loading distance. So, uh, yeah, so this, yeah, I'll take you guys there in a second and we'll, I'll show you what the killing chamber looks like. Okay, so I'm back. So, uh, my portal, both this one and the other one, managed to spawn in the, uh, above an ocean biome, so I had to dig up an underwater uh, elevator because I didn't want to remake the portal and have to deal with that. So, basically, it's a, uh, one, two, three, four, five, an eight by twelve, yeah, an eight by twelve area of soul sand alternating with hoppers, uh, with, um, with what are they called? Wither roses on top of each soul sand. With a poor with a boat with two chickens. I believe this is to push the gas out of the portal. And then they die on the wither roses in the little chamber, and you can have your collection system underneath. That's basically what we have here. And a, in order to find where your portal is going to be for the thing, you need to multiply the coordinates of the center block of your farm, which is in between the which is the from one side the fourth portal in the middle of the three uh, you find the coordinates of that and then multiply the X and the Z coordinates by eight you multiply it by eight and then that'll be where you build your portal uh, that's where it will show up and that'll how that's how it works so yeah I think I'm gonna end off this episode here this took a little while to do and I want to I want to work on something else now I've had enough of the nether, and I'm ready to be back in the overworld. So, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out Shulkercraft's videos on these farms. He's very helpful and very good uh, for tutorials. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.